now in session. The Honorable Penny S. Brown presiding. Please be seated. Come to order. All right. Good morning. All right. Are there any preliminary matters before the jury comes in? If you could put your microphone on or go to the. Oh, you want to approach with it? Okay, that's fine. All right. Anything else preliminary? No, thank you, Your Honor. Okay, we're good. We're ready for the jury? All right, let's bring the jury out. Oh, sorry. Oh, yes, Dr. Kipper is the last hour. We had some agreement. We've had agreements on exhibits for both him and Lloyd. Okay. Okay. Do you, you want to wait for the jury and then you can uh, enter those into evidence? Is that okay? You, you enter those exhibits into evidence when the jury comes out? Does that sound all right? That works? Okay, that works. Okay. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Mr. Mr. Nadelhoff, did you have, um, ladies and gentlemen, you might remember we're in the middle of Dr. Kipper's testimony for, for, per deposition, but I think there's some exhibits that need to be moved in. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, the parties t discussed over the, over the weekend, and we have agreement as to plaintiff's exhibits um, 41, 42, 47, 48 and 49 of plaintiff's exhibits. Um, I do believe that there are some slight redactions that I think they have copies of that they can provide to you. And then we also have defendants 10, 1063, um, which is redacted, and I can provide you a copy, and I, it, they also have the redactions. Okay. Um, same for defendants 283, defendants 405, Defendants 455, defendants 304, defendants 307, and in addition, um, 
395 and 414 um, would come in without any redactions. But I can provide you copies of the ones that we. All right. And have you already done the redactions or are you still working on redactions? Uh, Your Honor, we have agreed on the redactions except for one document, which we will address. Okay. And now 42 I already have in evidence. I was just waiting for redactions for that one. So we're still waiting for redactions for that one, correct? Or do you have that for me? Uh, so 42 okay. is, I believe, defendants. 42. Defendants 42. Oh, I think oh, we decided yeah. there were, we, we agreed that for that one that there would be no no redactions. Pla pl plaintiff's 42? Sorry, no. plaintiff's 42. We agreed no after discussion that there would be no redactions. Okay, gotcha. That's correct. Okay. All right, so all those are entered into evidence. Is that correct with the redactions that you've agreed upon? Yes, Your Honor. All right, so there's no objection? And there's, yes, there's no objection. Okay. Um, if I may, did you address ours? I think I addressed yours. Okay. But, All right. And we can provide you, would you, so they have the, they have the electronic copies, which can be, are going to be shown while the deposition right. is being played. And we can provide you copies. I can provide you copies now of the redacted right. ones. Right. If they're redacted ones, I need copies. If they're not redacted, I have them. Right. So, okay. yes. Okay. Okay. That'll be fine. Thank All you. All right. Thank you. All right, I think we're ready. Thank you. If I may, just before we begin, Your Honor. Okay. Um, just as an explanation for the jury, um, what you have seen from Dr. Kipper up until this point has been Ms. Hurd's counsel examining him. Um, at some point, it'll switch over and it'll be uh, Mr. Depp's counsel examining him. All right, thank you. Mr. Depp, uh, informing you that he was upset with Dr. Cowan. Yes, I, I remember clearly that he was upset with Dr. Cowan at a certain point. You know, do you recall this text message from Mr. Depp that I just read to you? Yes, when, in reading it, I do. Okay. And then Mr. Depp wrote to you again on July 5th, 2015, and said, you're a great man and a great friend. As much as I would love to see you, dot, 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 be a waste of your time, dot, dot, dot. I've just got quite a lot going on with my with business stuff, my Keith film, and some Amber issues, dot, dot, dot. By the way, I'll try not to be too subtle about this, dot, dot, dot. Cowan should be stripped of his license to practice his supposed profession, dot, dot, dot. And then he should be stripped and spray painted whilst handcuffed to a stop sign three exclamation points. He is at best a fraudulent, irresponsible turd of monumental proportions, three exclamation points. I love you, Johnny. You recall this text message from Mr. Depp? Again, I, I do upon reading this, I, I, I don't remember all the specific messages I got from him, but I certainly uh, remember the gestalt of his feelings. Okay. And, and do you continue to work with Dr. Cowan? Do you continue to refer patients to Dr. Cowan? Let me ask it differently. Yes. I have great respect for Dr. Cow. And uh, Mr. Depp sent you another text message on July 24th, 2015 that says, hey, dear pal, Amber is happy, happy with Cowan, dot, dot, dot. I just don't know what truth he gets and I don't know what his manners and strengths are, dot, dot, dot. I think she listens to him because when she, we argue, she slathers me up in those condescending psychiatric trophy lines like dot, dot, dot. Your fear is so visible, dot, dot, dot. What are you scared of? dot, 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 three exclamation points. Why are you letting your fear and your ego control your life, et cetera, dot, dot, dot. Hippie shit, dot, dot, dot. Makes me want to rampage against anyone, all capitals, wearing Birkenstocks, three exclamation points. Love you large, Jay. And I, I assume you recall this text message as well? No, but I I recall when, when I'm looking at it, yes. Okay. Um, now I'm gonna go to another text message. On August 3rd, 2015, Mr. Depp texts you, you can flog me soon for waiting until now for having not to properly given my kind apparatus the appropriate and adequate general cock love. 
dot, dot, dot. I've tried and mostly failed, dot, dot, dot. Many, many unpleasant things happening with my business world going on that are attempting to give me the funny pain face that could render me no more and send me headfirst straight into the bowl of minestrone or worse, a green curry, dot, dot, dot. So most necessary PRNs are all headache meds, Xanax, Adderall, and whatever this magical ointment for that traitorous redness in the much valued and region of significance, dot, dot, dot. Thanks and love, XJD. Um, do you recall this text message? No, but I'm once again reminded by looking at it. Do you recall not being paid for three months? I recall not being paid. I don't remember how long, and um, it always it always turned back around. But specifically that issue, no, I can't give you specifics. So there was a. A period of time where Mr. Depp was not paying you for your services, correct? Correct. Okay, so as of February 10th, 2016, you were very concerned about Mr. Depp's, Mr. Depp's health, correct? In the document, I'm also serving as his internist, managing some medical issues. And that, that's the nature of these concerns. You weren't concerned at all about Mr. Depp's uh, continuing with his uh, treatment plan for drug and alcohol use? You can't separate those two issues. They're not two distinct issues. But in order for me to assess how he was doing in general with his general health, these metrics that I identify in the second paragraph were things that I needed to um, have follow-up on. And I wasn't, I wasn't getting that follow up, and I needed to know that we were on the right course medically. And you recall being concerned about Mr. Depp in June 2018? Yes. What, if any, concerns did you have about Mr. Depp taking drugs or alcohol that were not part of the protocol? I was concerned that that could be potentially an issue. Dr. Kipper, uh, Kipper 28. At this point, there's an exhibit of which the parties are um, still in dispute. Um, I believe it's okay to continue playing at this point and we can resolve it All right. after the fact. Is that? Yeah, that's, we can resolve it after the deposition. Okay. Deposition. All right, that's fine. Thank you. Our invoices that you produced um, from February 2015 through from February, 20, February 6, 2015 to February 1st, 2021. <laughs> Do you recall producing these documents? No. Um, no. Those would have come from my accountant's office. Okay. Are you are you still um, working for Mr. Depp? Yes. Okay. And so at the bottom here, there's a lot that just say case management fee. Um, do you know what that refers to as opposed to nursing services and doctor services? That's a retainer fee that I have with him um on a monthly basis now dr kipper we received invoices for you for mr depp from fireman's insurance fund um for 2014 does, does this look like an invoice from from your office to mr depp does dr kipper you would just you you've already testified that these are invoices to mr depp correct I've testified that these are invoices. This is something generated from my accountant. Yes. Have you um, spoken to Mr. Jeff's legal counsel since the beginning of this year? Um, yes. Who have you spoken to? I've, you spoke, spoken? I've spoken to Camille um, on two occasions. Anybody else? No. What did you speak to Camille about? about the deposition. Mr. Kip, uh, Dr. Kipper, I think you're incorrect. I think also uh, Ms. Myers uh, was in one of those telephone conversations. Well, that's right. <laughs> and um, other than the scheduling of the deposition, did, what, did they talk about the issues that you were gonna be asked about? Yes, of course. Okay, how long were the conversations? 45 minutes each. 
were they uh, over phone or by Zoom or in person? The first conversation was in person, and the, the second was by Zoom. Okay. And you thought there were about two 45-minute calls? Not that. Okay. Are, are, um, are you paying for your counsel in this case? Yes, I am. First of all, uh, Dr. Kipper, do you remember seeing this document earlier? Yes, I do. And, and you recognize it as your um, initial consultation notes with Mr. Depp? Yes. Um, I'd like to direct your attention to the third page. Excuse me. Okay. Um, you see here where it says impressions. Yes. Now, what could you describe what the items listed under this heading are? So the first one, primary dopamine imbalance. Um, this, in general terms, I don't know. Primary dopamine imbalance, ADHD, which is attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, mm -hmm. bipolar one, depression, secondary to above, insomnia, chronic substance abuse disorder, chronic reflux. With respect to these items, are these an official diagnosis of Mr. Depp? These are my impressions, yes. Um, when you say impression, is that considered a diet? Would you consider that a diagnosis? Yes, Ms. Myers, that's my diagnostic impression. I'd like to pull up what's already been marked as uh, Kipper Exhibit 4, please. Dr. Kipper, um, I believe we've already established, but could you confirm that you recognize these documents, this document? Yeah. Yes. And these are also um, notes of the consultation you had with Mr. Depp? Correct. Um, do you, and it appears from these notes that Ms. Uh, Debbie Lloyd was at the meeting, correct? Yes. And she's a registered nurse? Yes. And did Mr. Depp's treatment plan uh, contemplate Ms. Lloyd remaining with Mr. Depp during his therapy? Yes. And was it contemplated that Ms. Lloyd would personally distribute his medications to him? Yes. Did Ms. Lloyd provide personally dispense medications to Mr. Depp? Yes, she did. And how in, how regular was Ms. Lloyd's contact with Mr. Depp? She had contact with him daily, either physically or by phone. How often would you estimate that she was physically in contact with him? I would say 80%, 90% of the time, somewhere in there. And Mr. Depp agreed to this supervision by Ms. Lloyd? Yes. Um, Alex, could we please pull up what's been marked as Kipper Exhibit 6? Dr. Kipper, could you please confirm that these are your notes from um, a consultation you had with Mr. Depp in Boston in June of 2014? 
Yes, this is a summary from June 22nd to June 24th of that concept, of, of that time with him. And um, if we scroll down, the notes reflect here that you met with Ms. Hurd at that time, correct? Yes. Ms. Hurd tell you that she was concerned about Mr. Depp being violent with her at this conversation? No. If she had told you that, is that something you would have documented in these notes? Yes. Um, your note here states that Amber has a strong family history of drug and alcohol abuse and is particularly sensitive to his behaviors for, and potential for abuse. Um, the phrase potential for abuse, is that referring to substance abuse? Yes. It's not referring to physical abuse. And what do you mean when you state that Ms. Hurd is particularly sensitive to Mr. Depp's behaviors? Having grown up in, in that environment, she's used to seeing the trauma that it inflicts and is not only able to, um, to recognize it, but also it, it affects her um, she has the ability to understand what that looks like. And was this your observation of her or something she told you? This is something she told me. Um, Alex, could you please pull up what's been marked as uh, Kipper Exhibit 5, please? Dr. Kipper, you recognize these as, I believe you testified a combination of your own patient notes and Ms. Lloyd's patient notes for Mr. Depp, correct? Yes. And you, and I believe you testified you compiled them together, is that right? Yes. Did you, add, for the notes that were taken by Ms. Lloyd, did you specifically request that she maintain these notes? Yes, that's part of her responsibility. And did you advise her on what types of uh, information she should include in those notes? No. Is there anything in particular that you asked her to include in the notes? No, she was trained in this and she, she knew what the, what the important metrics were in, in notation. Mm -hmm. And I believe you testified that you have reviewed these notes in their entirety before, correct? Yes. How many times would you say you've reviewed these notes? I reviewed them at the time they were written and I reviewed them probably a couple weeks ago, so twice. I'm going to turn to the last page now. And do you see this note marked um, June 30th? Yes. And so do you understand that to be June 30th, 2015? Yes. Is, did Miss did Ms. Lloyd stop attending to Mr. Depp around this time? I'm going to refer to my timetable just because I'll have a better sense. Of where the treatment was. All right, I'd like to talk to you uh, briefly about um, the, the detox process um, on Mr. Depp's Island in August, 2014. Uh, I believe you said that you, you traveled down to attend to Mr. Depp during this time, correct? 
Yes. And when you arrived on the island, who was who was present? Uh, Mr. Depp, Miss Hurd, uh, Miss Lloyd, and assistants uh, for Mr. Depp. And I can't recall which assistants. Do you recall how many? Um, no. There were people that I think lived or serviced that island when he was there. There were probably four of those people. And I'm not sure if he had one or two of his own assistants. Um, Dr. Kipper, um, when you arrived on the island in August 2014, did you see where Mr. Depp was, was staying during that time? Yes. And what did these accommodations look like? He had a little um, home structure. It was a small structure, a bedroom and a kitchen and a little sitting area. And was Ms. Hurd staying there with him? Yes. And relative to where Mr. Depp was staying, um, where was Ms. Lloyd staying? She was staying on another part of the island uh, in a structure called a yurt, which is like a tent. Um, and um, how far away, how long would it take Miss Lloyd to get to where Mr. Depp was staying? Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. And would that be walking? No, that would be on a motorized vehicle. And uh, relative to where Mr. Depp was staying, where did you stay when you were on the island? Stayed on the other side of that yurt. Oh, also in a yurt? Yes. Um, had, the de had Mr. Depp's detoxification process already started when you arrived on the island? Yes. And had Miss Lloyd been overseeing that process? Yes. Did she report any issues to you upon your arrival? She certainly updated. I was updated. He started on the 10th. I arrived on the 12th. So I was in full communication with her from the beginning. Um, after you arrived on the island, did you personally oversee Mr. Duck's detoxification process? Yes. And how often would you check in on him? Um, several times a day. And was this physically going to see him? No, this would be seeing him physically once a day and then checking uh, on his progress throughout the day. So during the detoxification process, you did see Mr. Depp at least once a day? Yes. And was Ms. Lloyd checking on Mr. Depp daily? Yes. And she was seeing him in person daily as well? Yes. You went and saw Mr. Depp after receiving that message, correct? Yes. And did Ms. Lloyd go with you? Yes. And um, where did you see Mr. Depp after receiving that message? I believe I saw him outside of his little home. Uh, it was either in the across from this little home was like a little cantina um, where one would eat and it was I think in the around the cantina and what was his physical condition at that time he was frustrated he was uncomfortable how was his demeanor uh, one of being frustrated and uncomfortable and was Ms. Hurd with him at that time? When I saw Mr. Depp at that point, no, she was not. And at this time, this was in the middle of his detoxification process, correct? Yes. Did you see Ms. Hurd that evening? I can't remember. Do you